This model rocket aircraft undergoing release tests in the wind tunnel was made to investigate transonic and supersonic flight. The full-scale test took place off the Scilly Isles in 1948, where it was released from a Mosquito aircraft and reached a speed of 930 miles per hour in level flight. Our first venture into the supersonic region. To study the airflow in wind tunnels of bodies likely to be subjected to subsonic or supersonic speeds, Schlieren photography is used to make visible the airflow around the model. In this picture, the tunnel speed is being increased, and one can see the change that is apparent as the speed goes through the sonic to the supersonic region. Considerable skill is needed in tracking the full-scale rockets. The slow-motion camera makes it appear easier than it is. In this particular instance, a pressure wave becomes visible for a short period. This phenomena only appears under certain atmospheric conditions and is a very infrequent occurrence. With such costly experiments as these, it is essential to have complete film coverage. From the high-speed and theodolite recording cameras, the speed, trajectory and the general behaviour throughout the entire flight can be assessed. In conclusion, it is considered that wherever science is leading us on this planet or others, the cine camera will still continue to play its all-important role in aeronautical research and development.